All right, let's face it. Your boy is back with another lit banger just for you guys, man. If this is your first time here, head over, hit that red subscribe button, man. I go by the name Jiggy the Setter, man. We show some of the best sneakers. We show some of the best streetwear pieces, and we show some of the most vintage is pieces in our collection, man. Hey. Big salute to everyone who's been watching in on the videos. Yes, man. As y'all can see that thumbnail and that title, man. Big salute to one of the supporters, man, for actually getting this video on the road, man. Because like I say, man, when y'all comment on the video, I respond back, I read, and I take the initiative and actually do videos that you guys request, you feel me? So with that being said, man, don't say too much more. Let's hop into the video. Alright guys, so yes man, as you guys can see it man, yes. So let's talk about how this video actually came about, you know what I'm saying? So I was chilling on YouTube one night and like nighttime is when I actually go in and actually look at and read all the comments that everyone drops in. Well, the, the comment that I actually that actually got my the, the most attention is the comment that somebody left on my Jordan 2 video. And the comment stated that I actually did this video. And the comment actually was like, he said, bro, you should review older pairs too, like all your kicks in the background and call it and call it throwback and call it throwback releases or something like that. And I respond back and I was like, that's a dope video idea. Say less King, I got you. So like I told y'all, man, whenever y'all, whenever y'all drop comments or stuff like that, whenever y'all say something, a video or something like that, if it's good enough for me to actually do, I'ma do it. I never thought about doing this video because I mean, like I say, I am a collector and it's just the stuff that's in the background is older. And this is not all the older stuff that I have. A lot of stuff is definitely in the storage as well. It's just all the stuff that I probably would actually wear on a day to day. So when I get my place, I will set it up and how, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much this is like all my go-to older heat, you feel me? Like this is what I wear like on a deck, on a regular, you feel me? A lot of the oldest pairs that I got stored away is probably stuff that I probably won't wear, either crumbling, either the cracking or stuff like that, you feel me? So with that being said, man, let's go ahead and hop into the first pair that yeah let's hop into it man so as y'all can see it your boy have the olive nine jordan nines you feel me now they get these in a size seven these did release back in 2012 as y'all can see it man these things are mad fire this is probably the coldest nines ever in my opinion you feel me olive nines it took me the longest of time getting these pair you feel me i seen these on goat they ran your boy a cool penny and it was just only right no they did not come with no box i didn't even care about no box because it's like that size seven was just so hard to find so when i seen it sitting on there i pulled the plug on it and had to cop up you feel me air jordan olive nine 2011s as y'all can see it, man, these things are mad fire. I'm when they first came out, I wanted these joints so bad, man. And mom was like, yeah, we can try to get them for you. That's when raffles wasn't going on. And it was more so first come, first serve, first come, first serve. So you really had to stand in line and get them. So my mama wasn't all for it. So we went the next morning and tried to get them. And they were so out, lines were super long and it just wasn't successful for the kid that did, you feel me? So years later on down the line, I was able to still grab them on GOAT, shout out to GOAT. With that being said, man, let's hop into the next pair. All right, so coming in next, man, is the Candy Canes. This pair right here is definitely from 2011. As y'all can see it, as y'all can see, these things are actually turning yellow and cracking and all that good stuff but they still mad fire, nothing too crazy. Candy Canes is probably one of my favorite 14s of all time. Well, probably these in the last shots, man. I don't know, it's just, Candy Canes is just so classic to me, man. I don't know what it is about them Candy Canes. Them, them joints hit different, man, as y'all can see them. Them things go absolutely crazy. These are 2011 release, man, because it's like, it's like, I don't know, man. Y'all drop in the comment section if I'm wrong or right. But it's like all the older releases that come out or that that done came out, it's just the newer releases just don't give them, 
uh, they just try to take away stuff like the tongue is different the fit is different the shoelaces are different the soles is different it's just something is different about about it like it it, it never fails so as y'all can see it man the 2011 candy cane jordan 14s you feel me let's hop into the next pair all right so coming in next is the 2005 ice blue tins man as y'all can see them these things go crazy these things are absolutely fire oh yeah as y'all can see it probably my probably my code is 10 out of all of them i like the chicago's i like the i like the um it's a lot of tens that i do like i like the chicago's i like the the um the space jam tens i like i like it's a lot of it's a lot of tens that i do like it's just i don't know it's some of them about that ice blue the ice blue definitely set hard to me these are definitely a pair from 2005 did get my size in the size seven and a half the soles almost came off on these. It's just the separation has been absolutely crazy on these. As y'all can see, I had them actually, I had them fixed, you feel me? As y'all can see that the soles is almost coming off, man. I had to take them to the sneaker bar. If y'all ever in Memphis, sneaker bar definitely gets you right when it comes to separation and stuff like that. Oh yeah, these things are mad crazy though, as y'all can see it. With this, with this being a 2005 release, man, the quality of it is mad fire because it's like, you don't see pairs like this looking this good, you feel me? It's crazy how stuff actually be. Like somebody was telling me back in the day, like, oh, your old sneakers don't crumble. And I'm like, nah, bro. Like, and then it just so happened one day I was finna wear these and the soles had came straight off. As y'all can see, look at the back of that. Look at the back of that sole. It's, it's, it's coming you feel me it's coming but as you see it man it don't matter if they can come off they can do whatever i will be getting them revamped again so it don't matter i'm gonna have these to about 50 years it's just i don't know you feel me as y'all can see it man the 2005 ice blue tens man with that being said let's hop to the next pair all right so coming in next man is another dope sneaker i have and this is the air jordan 20 midwest colorway as y'all can see it man these things are absolutely fire as well yes these things are absolutely fire as well all over suede these did come out in 2007 i think no i'm wrong 2005 super old sneaker man these things go crazy though as you can see the quality is all there does got a little bit of this color separation but it is what it is these ain't going away either these things are mad fire as you can see it man these things go crazy like i'm not gonna lie like when was the last time we seen a retro jordan 20 it's been a minute like it's been a couple years like they don't even play around with kick with, with numbers this high simply because i don't know why it's just i feel like a lot of people wouldn't buy them i feel like the only people that will buy them is the actual collectors and people that actually know about the history on the mics and stuff like that i feel like kids today wouldn't even respect this like they already don't respect the cardinal sevens and the citrus sevens like them things sat for a long time and we haven't seen them in over 10 years i don't know man i just don't get this world today we live in but like i said man today is a world that we live in you like what you like you don't like what you don't like so it's just you know what i'm saying we gotta respect it or shake it and keep it moving you feel me like i say man i would take a classic sneaker any day over anything that releases newly it's just me personally finding it in good condition like this is probably the hardest part ever you feel me so with that being said man let's hop into the next pair coming in next is probably one of my faves and these are the cdp jordan 17s man as y'all can see it these things go crazy these did come out in 2007 and these things are just mad fire man i don't know man i had these for a long time you feel me no separation no nothing yet I'm, I'm i'm glad you feel me because if these start separating i'm gonna be hot these probably one of my favorite jordans of all time i know it's gonna actually eventually come because my red ones is already doing it and it's just man like you say these things are mad fire as y'all can see it man the cdp Jordan Retro 17s. This is probably one of my favorite classics that I probably own in my collection today. I just love the silhouette. I love Jordan 17s. It's probably one of my top five Jordans of all time. You feel me? These things are mad fire and it's just only right. You feel me? 
Look at that toe box and all over suede. Upper uppers are new buck. You feel me? Backs are just the pull tabs on the backs. You feel me? These like this man is stuff you cherish. You feel me? You don't go around beating stuff like this up. You feel me? You just do you keep this type of stuff tucked. You feel me? That's just my thing. Look at the bottoms of those soles. These things go crazy. But with that being said, let's hop into the next pair. Coming in next is another classic, man. The Air Jordan 2 CDPs, as you can see it, man. These things go crazy as well. These came out 2007 as well. My quality of mind is mad fire. It's starting to crack on the soles, as y'all can see it, but it's just stuff like that you just don't get rid of. It don't matter if it cracks on the sole, long as it ain't separating. Eventually it's gonna start crumbling, but I mean, it's from 2007. Does it matter if it crumble or not? You feel me? Like you say, I mean, they need to re-retro these as well. It's just, man, it's something about them red and white twos, man. As y'all can see it from 2007, and I still got my pair. This is the pair from 2007 as well. Like this ain't no rebought pair. This is the pair from 2007. And it's crazy because I still wear the same size from 2007. I've been in a size seven, seven and a half since seventh grade. So it's crazy, you feel me? So with that being said, man, Another classic in the books, the Air Jordan 2 CDP colorway, Mad Fire. It's this crazy. This this sneaker right here is still, this sneaker right here is still living. Like I would have thought it would have crumbled out because I was seeing the soles started to um to kind of like crumble at the bottom, but it's just the paint of it. Just I guess just I don't know with the years of wearness. I guess like nothing is separating though. It's just. A pair that crumbles at the bottom of the sole, I guess. This sneaker is mad fire. Hey, <laughs> we probably won't see this one again for probably another 10 years. So with that being said, y'all hang tight and <laughs> enjoy the enjoy the ride. You feel me? All right, so coming in next, man, is the Air Jordan 21, the red suede joints. As y'all can see it, man, these things go crazy as well. This is probably one of my favorite sneakers of all time, man. It's just, I don't know, it's just something about that red suede. These things go crazy. Big salute to my boy Jay White for actually, he had to re-dye these because they started to fade a little bit. It's just that red wasn't popping like it normally would. And he iced them up for me and made them even pop even more. It's just something about these, them laces, the bottoms of the soles, it's just, a classic for me all over red suede you can't get it anywhere you feel me like this pair right here you probably won't see no more like this pair right here i doubt they retro this this is not a pair that they were retro i don't know why they just don't play around with stuff like this i feel like in order for something like this to be uh, uh like remastered or a colorway come out or something like that it has to be a collab with someone you feel me like billy eilish like for instance billy eilish she came out with the air jordan 15 like when the last time we seen an air jordan 15 like we haven't we haven't it got to be a collab from a music artist or collab from a uh a, 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 a actual um ball player or something like that it's just for it to be us we gotta have that actual mentality, man, and it's all good. I ain't got it. I can't push up and be like, yo, give us a new Air Jordan 17, but hey, by all means, if you got that power, please give us all the older releases. Like, give us something, you feel me? All these Jordan 3s, Jordan 1s, Jordan 4s, we get it. Go older, go past 14. That's what I wanna see, go past 14. They scared to do it. I don't know. I don't get it. They probably mad. They probably see it won't sell or something like that. But as y'all can see it, man, all red suede 21s. You feel me? 21s. It just don't get no player than that. Now, with that being said, let's hop into the next sneaker. All right. So coming in last but not least, it's probably my favorite pair out of every sneaker that I just showed y'all. If y'all can guess it. Just go ahead and guess it. I I'll wait. I'm waiting. Drop in the comment section what y'all think the last pair is. Drop in the comment section what y'all think the last pair is. You know what I'm saying? It gets deeper than this, but this is just the one that he said show in the actual showcase behind me. You know what I'm saying? As y'all can see it, the Air Jordan red and white 17s. Go crazy. Big salute to my boy, my brother from another mother, Cameron. Shouts out to my boy Lux Life, you feel me? 
he blessed the KID who did, you feel me? With this pair. Not too much wearable anymore, but I mean, it is what it is. It's in my possession and it's just, it's just, I wore it one time for a photo shoot and that was all the life it had in it. As y'all can see at the bottom, it is definitely cracking. Over here, it's cracking as well. And it's just, these things are just mad sweating. I don't know what it is. The soles are sweating on here. The soles are, um, it's just the, 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 the separation of these is just coming, coming, definitely coming. Like I can't wear these no more. And I don't think like, like as y'all can see it, man, look at this, look at this separating. Like I'm gonna keep it in the collection though, because this is definitely a collectibles item. Like you're not gonna see these anymore. Like, you know what I'm saying? These things are definitely fire. I wore these one time. And that was the end of it. And I wore them for a photo shoot. It wasn't even nothing like crazy, no running, no something like that. It just was on some everyday wear type stuff. And it just didn't work out for the KID. But big salute to that boy Lux Life, man. He blessed the kid who did with this pad. And it was, it was definitely huge, you feel me? Like I've always wanted these all my life. I had the blue and white ones back when I was in like sixth grade, you feel me? But the red and white ones always hit different to me especially when they come in the briefcase. No, I don't have the briefcase. I wish I did, but I oh, don't know. I might hop on eBay to see if I can touch that briefcase. And these things just absolutely beauties. These hold so much weight and it's so much intention behind these. You feel me? Like it don't get no, it don't get no better than this. Like, I don't know. Like these things are mad fire as y'all can see it, man. It don't get no better than this. Air Jordan Retro 17s for the win you feel me now with that being said man all right man so that is a wrap for this video man if you're new to the channel head over hit that red subscribe button man so you don't miss out on any more videos your boy may post like i said man, we get about two to three videos a week so the content is definitely 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 here on the channel man and like i said man we give out straight heat on this channel man like i say if y'all ever want to see any video any content Drop in the comment section like the bro did, man. Big salutes to him. Like I said, man, I am a huge supporter of who supports me. You feel me? When I see y'all drop comments, I read that. I, I actually take the initiative and actually do the things you guys ask, especially if it's good things. You feel me? Now, with that being said, man, if y'all like any of these pads, if you own any of these pads, drop in the comment section, man, down below. I want to know what y'all got. I want to know what's in y'all collection. It gets deeper than this, but a lot of my pairs are in the storage and it's just, you know, these are just the ones that's on the showcase. And with that being said, resale on those is probably average. Resale, all those sneakers is probably a cool 10 to 15 bands, especially with all that being resold. resold. So it's just, man, hold your sneakers, take care of them, and you'll see the value later on in life, you feel me? Now, with that being said, man, I need y'all to say this part with me. I'm out. Y'all be easy. Peace. Yeah, I be flexed up. Yeah, I be flexed up. Hey, hey, okay, I got it. But these niggas talking about do. Man, big juice, juice my shit. Yeah. You already know what's going yeah. on, man. Big go, big clout, big yeah. all that.